And like there's just stuff that's like hella triggering to me that like he's like not understanding of. Yeah. And mm -hmm. honestly, I'ma spill the real tea right here. I'm like, holy crap, like is this really my freaking life? I carry stuff that I had in the past mm -hmm. in our relationship. Yeah. There's some days where like you'll be good, but then some days you get super triggered. Drugs. <laughs> stop! Just babe, babe, stop. Your food's gonna taste so much better with those drugs. Uh, Start. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Is we got where what is this? Coco Beck? Uh-huh. We got two small poutines. We got 30? Mm. 30 wings. We have a rack of ribs. We have some fries and a chicken leg hiding. And I guess this is gravy. Do you want some? Yeah. Yum! Alright, enjoy. Thanks, I forgot my ketchup. It's okay. How good is it? It's good? What are you doing? Clearly they knew I was gonna yeah, take some. Oh, and if you guys were wondering what drugs I was taking, it's a lactose pill. <laughs> Rude. What do you want to talk about? How we just ate and we're eating again. We didn't just eat, babe. We had a snack. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, these are so bomb. Wait, which one do you like better? The chicken one? Hmm. What is this? A, chick a drumstick? Oh. And the flat? What yeah. do they call this? A drumstick. Which one do you like better? The flat. Yeah. I don't know how you guys eat your chicken. I'm buying my chicken to the bone. Not the bone, but to the bone. Practically almost a bone. He eats it like I've taught like him. This. I've like this. I've taught him better. Like this. Like he, Definitely not, bro. Relax, okay? I eat my wing exactly. You see that end? He leaves the cart. It's called cartilage. There you go. That. I, I don't eat, eat that. that. <laughs> no. Sometimes I finish. Yeah, she finishes my wings. It's like it goes through customs, you see. She has to inspect it, finish it off, then it can go through to the garbage. Period. Us white people? We just go like this. Stuff. Chill, 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 chill. I mean, usually white people do. Not me. Nah, I get to the bone. There's more flavor. Where's the flavor? There's no flavor. Where's the flavor? Where's the flavor? Where's the flavor in this? Exactly. That's why I like the drum, because I can actually eat it to the bone without you judging me. This? Mm -hmm. No, you don't even eat this. No. The flat. That's, the, that's what I said, no? You said drum. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Mm. The flat, I can eat it in a way where you don't judge me. Yeah. Much. You know what I want to talk about? Mm. I want to talk about... How I don't know how. Are you gonna finish that? No. <laughs> no. I'm probably not gonna eat all of the cheese. Oh my god. I love that she's lactose. It's so good though. I get to eat all the good stuff. I wanna talk about how. How it is dating someone that has anxiety and that has like. I don't want to say like depression, but depression. Mm -hmm. Or ha that has dealt with depression. <gasps> Honestly, not that hard for me. Yeah, because you're super understanding. <laughs> I feel like it's so hard for me. Because, you know, I saw this quote or like something that said like, honestly, like, you know the relationship that like you learn so much about? Yeah. That's not the hardest one, it's the one after that. Why? Because you have like issues. 
Okay. You know what I mean? Why would that one be the hardest one? Because, like, you're, like... You know how, like, sometimes I explain it to you and you're, like, so confused. You're, like, okay, but, like, why are you like that? Mm hmm And I'm, like... No, I understand that, but, like... Why would they say it's the hardest one? It's harder? Yeah, after the one that you learned the most. I think it's because I carry stuff that I had in the past mm -hmm. in our relationship. Yeah. Which sometimes okay. I, I do that. You know what I mean? Mm hmm And it's not like I could prevent it because, like, that's how I am. No, for sure. You know? I don't know. I feel like I'm the most caring but careless guy yeah ever. i know it's so weird <laughs> i don't understand for me it's the best no stress because he's super like he's he's super caring super considerate super caring about me and then when i try to like explain myself it's like it's hard for me to explain myself but he's like i don't know it's just super weird i think i'm like there's too much cheese on top. Can you like? Well, I'm done. <laughs> okay, so I just I'm gonna eat this with gravy. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it works out. I feel like. You want some salsa? Uh, yeah. Okay. Of course it works out, but like, it's tough. You know? mm -hmm. And like, there's just stuff that's like hella triggering to me that like he's like. Not understanding of yeah, okay. like that one time. When was that? Which one are you talking about? The recent one. The recent one. What was it even about? I'm not gonna put that. Hmm? I'm not gonna put that in. Okay. But like, about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's things that like. Obviously, he knows that I I have issues with and then like I'm trying to work on it But then there's times that he's like, oh my god, like you're still this way about something and I'm like, yeah But I'm working on something else like mm. it's super hard for me to like Work on multiple issues that I have when I'm trying to work on one and it's like still super hard yeah. So like I try to like have you like, you know, I'm still trying for like this other thing So sure, and you got so much better too I guess, whatever <laughs> There's some days where like you'll be good, but then some days you get super triggered. Yeah, like now, like I can't like just talking about it. Mm -hmm. You get I triggered? Can't, I can't fucking breathe properly. I would start having like heart palpitations, mm -hmm. and I feel like my chest is like tightening, and I can't like breathe. Mm -hmm. I'm like, holy crap! Like, is this really my freaking life? Mm -hmm. Yo, this is pretty bomb. This is our first time having their ribs. That was the piece that I had. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Damn. I mean, it's sweet. Mm. It's the sweet barbecue sausage that I like. You know? Yeah. That Filipino me, in me, it's the, the meat that I was judging. Well, it's still not, it's not bad, still. Mm. Could be better, though. But it's not the worst. Mm hmm. Mm. So, yeah. Because mm. I feel like. In my past relationships, I didn't have like that many like issues, trust issues, issues in general. Mm -hmm. That's why I feel like it wasn't as bad. But with you, there's just stuff that like I've been through so much that like like every little thing scares me. Remember that video I sent you? about that guy explaining yeah. it. I'm gonna enter that right here. <laughs> Trauma is hurt from the past being experienced in the present. It was a pain that was so severe and so distressing that it imprinted itself upon you and lives in your memory in such a way that it like accrues interest and compounds and gets bigger and and takes up more and more room to where you just feel like you're huddled in the corner. It, um, it zooms into your life in ways that feel really random and inopportune. Like you'll be at your birthday party or having a meal with a friend or trying to 
I don't know, spend an afternoon with your kid and a flashback will come in or a memory like zooms into your mind from something terrible that happened or um, you feel this tightness in your chest, this like rest, this restlessness, this racing heartbeat or this migraine, this headache that won't go away. Or, or even even this suspiciousness, right? Like this, uh, this feeling like things are going to fall apart or someone's going to hurt you or you're going to get betrayed or that you can't really trust somebody or, or this feeling that things are going to go wrong and fall apart. And, and it, when there's no evidence around you that that's going to happen, but it feels that way. And it feels that way even in your closest, most trustworthy relationships like with your loved one or your kid. It's like something just overtakes you and you don't know what to do and it's and it's a problem to be solved and the hard part is the prob the, the the things that solve the problem the easiest they're not healthy i'm not one to freaking talk like this face to face yeah she hates talking I about her problems face to face confrontations because i feel like i'm just gonna cry I'm like, I text, I always text, which is like, normal. When we live together though, mm -hmm. it's going to be totally different because I can't like, babe, I'm going to the other room. You, you stay here and I'll text you like, what the fuck? I feel like I would mm -hmm. just take space and then eventually like when I'm ready, I'll talk, mm -hmm. but it takes a lot of me to talk like, for sure. It takes a lot of me to talk on the spot. But then, like, if you give me time, then yeah. But... I hate confrontations. Mm -hmm. You don't mind it. I don't mind it. You don't mind anything. <laughs> this guy will literally work around you. And... Pretty much. As long as you're out of his way. I feel like I work around everyone. That's why like... people love you. Yeah. I adapt to my environment. Yeah, it's super hard for me to do that. But I mean, you're super understanding. And mm -hmm. honestly, I'm gonna spill the real tea right here. But he knows that I have issues. And I deal with a lot of like... You know. What the fuck? Babe, I don't want it. You did good. There's a lot. He I'll knows, be good enough for the video so you don't get roasted. He knows that I deal with a lot of like issues and like anxiety and all of that. You do? Since the beginning of our relationship, before we even started dating, when you were just friends. True. So like, I don't want that. So before we even started dating, I told him, I'm like, dude, like, you you know what you're getting yourself into. So honestly, if at, po at, at times, I'm always like, yo, you I, told I, I told you, I told you, I told you. Are you making fun of me? Yes, and what, whenever you text me that, and I look at the text, I do the same thing in front of me. And then, the then. <laughs> Pinky. Oh, shocking. I swear to God. It's funny because every time I say that, he goes, yeah, I know. Like, you don't have to remind me, I know. No, no. I'm just reminding you. No, 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 no. And I do that all the time. I mean, I'm super grateful for you. Mm -hmm. Super understanding. Mm -hmm. Yes, because I've been talking. <clears throat> you eat at that pace and it's slow. You give me a whole chicken thigh. Mm. Mm. I'm super happy about this one. Yeah? Good. Can I have some of the soggy fries in the bottom? Mmm. Super good. Mmm. Mm. Are you gonna finish that sauce? No. Why? Cheese, you like. Oh, uh, you like your puts in the saucy. Scrumptious. Scrumptious. What else do you wanna talk about? What do you want to talk about? 
How good this puts in this. Hmm. I have a question. Hmm. Who do you think wears the pants in the relationship? You. Why would you say like that? Because if it's no, then it's no. <laughs> That's not true. You got a real sip. Sim University. Dad. Should I tell them my story of when that guy was racist on me over? You said you would tell them. Oh, in the other It's video. such a long story. We got time. No, I think this is good. I don't know. No, we got time. Yeah? No. Yeah. It's a long story. Okay. Ever since Corona started, I was prepared for this. <laughs> Been practicing. You have to. Like... You have to have a comeback. If people are still racist nowadays, holy shit, like... Yeah, so I, I told him, like, you want your money back? And he's like, yeah, and I'm never gonna come back here. I think I handled that very well. I don't care what anyone says. As soon as he heard racism, he knew what was going on. Yeah. So he let me take care of it, and I was like, period. And